Hello, welcome back to Denton TMD. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what I received for Christmas this year. Now, I know Christmas wasn't exactly the best for quite a lot of us, and the year's been quite bad as well. So, I just hope that you're all still uh, continuing to stay safe throughout the rest of 2020, and as we progress on to the year of 2021. Um, so, in today's video, the, the videos, um, I'm going to split it into three parts um, over the course of the day. Um, part one is going to be um, going through my civil engineer's wagons, my new civil engineer wagons, um, and then we'll progress on from there. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay then, welcome to part one of the Christmas videos. Um, as I said in the previous clip, I'm going to be going over my new civil engineer's wagons. As you can see in front of me here, I've got two Hornby and a Dapol wagon. Um, I've got two Hornby clams and a uh, Dapol grampus here, all in Dutch livery. Um, I'm going to go over these and give you a closer inspection of these wagons when I get them out of the box. Um, I just want to go ahead and explain the reason behind this. Um, I want to get more engineer wagons for my fleet as it continues to grow for the modern image. Um, part of um, stuff here at Denton TMD so this here is quite a nice way of being able to grow my fleet especially as I already own a Hornby Taupe these wagons would run with that very nicely so we're going to get into the first wagon and it would be this um, Hornby clam right now so this one here is the weathered version um, factory weathered version from Hornby um, it comes in the standard IQ packaging from Hornby as well. So I'm just going to put them here and then I'll bring the camera closer and you can have a closer look at them shortly. The second one we're going to go through is the clean version of the Hornby clam. Now this one has got the uh, number panel on the side whereas this one down here doesn't have. So they are slightly different. And then obviously the final wagon is the Dapol uh, Grampus wagon. Um, this one's got a more of a faded looking livery on it, but yet again, still a nice little addition to the fleet. And like I said, I'm going to bring the camera closer so you can see it more in closer detail, and then go through them all in a bit more. Um, detailed description. So then, to start off this part of the video here, um, where we're going to closer inspection on the uh, stock, we're going to take a look at the Dapol Clam. As you can see, this one's got more of a faded grey and a faded yellow um, to it. Delivery is nice and crisp, and as you, you can see here, there is quite a bit of detail onto this model, and the transfers look rather nice. So. It's a nice free rolling model, um, quite light compared to most bits of rolling stock, um, quite basic, just, it hasn't got spung buffers but that's not really much of a big ideal feature um, to a lot of modellers. Um, we'll go to the bottom of the wagon now, um, so it's got the NEM couplings um, which are pretty decent. Considering it just means that I could change them out if I needed to. I'm not going to need to, but if you prefer to run things like KDs or anything like that, you could do that quite easy. And it does come with these nice uh, metal wheels that are nice and free rolling. Um, there is quite a bit of detail on the bottom of this wagon, which is quite easy to break as well. Such as the little step um, just down the bottom here, and some of the other under frame details there. Um, going on to the end of the wagon there, the detail were all moulded 
on the end of the wagon but as you can see it's quite nice and crisp um, and it definitely does the job I'm very happy with the way this model um, looks and it's definitely going to be something nice to feature on the civil engineers trains so we're going to take a closer look into the different transfers on this model and go through some of that so then the first transfer we're going to focus our attention to is the little red electrification flash just up in the corner of the wagon here um, as you can see that is applied quite nicely up in the corner and is very visible in the clean model but once it's all weathered that's not going to be noticeable it's quite nice just to point out that it's there because in the time zone we're modeling here it would have carried the red electrification flash um, going further across the wagon we've then got the number and data panel here um, yet again applied very nice and is quite readable in person as well as on camera going further across we've then got the type of wagon here which is the ZBV um, also Grampus as you can read just up above the side panel there um, so yeah the code for these wagons is a ZBV Grampus um, yet again Depos did a very good job at applying delivery and transfers onto this part of bowling stock as per usual so we're going to move you across to the end of the wagon here and there's another two transfers right in front of you which are more information panels yet again these aren't readable in person or on camera here as you can see um, but yeah always goes into the detail um, very nice gives that, that proper look to the actual wagons themselves and they are applied very nicely as you can see in these um, side shots here of the actual wagon itself you can see each and every rivet on the different um, parts of the wagon here so the detail is very nice considering it's not that much of an expensive wagon definitely affordable definitely reasonable if you're going to model this uh, privatization time period or even before that into sectorization sorry um, these would go quite nice with a number of different locos 37s, 33s, 31s, uh, 40s probably uh, 47s that sort of stuff you could definitely use it with engineers trains in those sort of eras moving on to the next wagon in this first video is the clean version of the Hornby clam with the number panel um, you can see it's quite distinctive with the number panel it sits quite proud on the um, body side ribs but before we go into any of that close-up detail we're just going to talk about how Hornby have gone into detail in this magnificent part of rolling stock here and how crisp delivery actually is on this part of rolling stock um, so as you can see here at the moment delivery does sit very nice on the model itself um, it's definitely got that vibrant look to it and sort of fresh repaint at the time at the time being it will be weathered up at, uh, in the future but like I said I've only just got it and I'm very happy with the way these have come out um, yet again no um, spun buffers on this bit of rolling stock but as I said with the Grampus that's not really a necessity just on rolling stock um, Hornby have obviously fitted these with the standard NEM pockets um, and couplings as usual so if you did feel the need to upgrade to um, KDs you can easily do so and we're going to go on to the body, uh, chassis detail now and frame detail so there's quite a lot of details on the bottom of these wagons uh, somewhat can be quite easy to snap off um, one of the easiest bit of details to snap off would be this little bit of plastic here which is obviously the uh, lock for the handbrake there and some of these little uh, plastic ribs along the bottom here for the frames 
these can flex quite easy and can snap off quite easy and so can the little white steps you knock those hard enough they will come off quite easy um, going on to the end of the wagon now um, they have added in a moulded handrail and a moulded uh, coupling hook a uh, coupling hook would be quite cool if you could get it working I'm pretty sure you can obviously I don't need that and the hand, uh, handrail you can make uh, separate if you wanted to as it is a moulded handrail but yet again it's a bit of rolling stock it's going to get scruffy stuff like that you may not notice when it's on the move being on the end of the wagon itself uh, also the lamp iron just on that rib there is also moulded you could just make out it's a We're going to zoom in now and go through the transfers on the clam. So as you can see we've got the number panel with the information and data um, exposed on this little plate on the ribs. Um, so as you can read here it says ZV and you've obviously got your number there and the maximum weight capacity of this uh, wagon not all of them had this external panel but some did so it's quite nice to have the two different variations of the clam so I ain't got the same wagon over and over and over again in the rake we then obviously move into the sensor of the wagon where we can see the red electrification flash again and the clam writing a lot of engineers wagons were named after uh, fish or uh, sea creatures so that's one thing to spot out with these wagons also a nice little touch would be all of the different transfers Hornby have added down onto the under frames you could just about make out here in this clip they are literally just along the bottom and I believe they've also added in a white star maybe there which is also quite a cool touch and a builder's plate just behind the handbrake there going also onto the livery I do want to mention about the um, actual end of the handbrake they're being painted white just as more detail and just to give it a more realistic look so then we move on to the end of the wagon and you can see the two electrification flashes it's quite nice to point these out just because in the future it's going to get weathered and you might not be able to see these but yes these are obviously applied onto the real model into the real life wagon sorry um, so obviously Hornby's got to apply them just to make it look that bit more realistic the handrail was painted white like it would be um, obviously the paintwork would get scratched off and they will eventually become somewhat silver or quite shiny or even quite scruffy over the time of ballast dust or whatever is put around this wagon or on the wagon or loaded into the wagon so that's the first Hornby Grampus we then move on to the next one we have now moved on to the weathered uh, version of the Hornby Clam as you notice this one hasn't got the number number plate on the ribs here so you've got that extra space for more weather wind if wanted to um, transfers are pretty much the same it's just that some of them has moved position on this wagon the details are going to be the same um, I must say the weathering on this for factory weathering it isn't that bad um, I have seen worse factory weathering jobs on models so in total it's not much of a bad uh, weathering job on this uh, model there is definitely work that needs to be done to give it a bit more of a ballast grey or aggregate sort of grime which they would have been loaded with uh, for the majority of their time in service um, the weathering itself looks more of a sort of track grime brake dust sort of colour so a nice coat of a sort of aggregate ballast grey would go quite nice on this wagon so we're going to zoom in now go over delivery and transfers
So I'm going to quickly pan across the wagon so you can see the nice crisp finish on the livery on this clam. It's still got that vibrant-ish kind of look underneath the weathering to give that nice bright yellow feel on the grey background that Dutch would have had back in the day. So we'll move over to here then on the wagon and obviously the main obvious difference is obviously the number plate not being there that's because all of them sort of details on this version you can see are put onto the actual chassis or underframe of the body so you've got your number just here the ZCV and data panel just over here moving into the middle of the wagon you've got your clamp writing but there's no electrification flash in the middle and obviously the other transfers are as normal another one i like here is obviously the white is still got that weathered look on the brake handle it just shows that it's definitely been weathered on that nice bit of detail there some manufacturers leave that little bit out so it does look a bit odd going on to the end of the wagon then the details as you can see are still molded it's a bit more easy to see them as the weather makes them stand out a bit better um, the electrification flashes on the end are still in place they're just a bit grimy um, which is a nice bonus they're not over weathered so you can still see them there Hornby's done a very good job at trying to get a realistic weathering job on the clam well this version of the clam at least um, overall I'm very happy with this wagon So then there you have it, thank you for watching this video, the next couple of videos will be more Model Railway rolling stock and there will be a Model Railway update coming soon. Thank you for watching this video.